hope you're all doing fine in this video i'll be discussing the antibiotic prophylaxis regimens given by american heart association so these regimens are prescribed when performing any oral respiratory or esophageal procedures so no matter what the procedure is these prophylactic regimens are given to prevent bacterial endocarditis so now let's look into the details of these regimens so coming to the first category that is general Patients who are not allergic to penicillin or those patients who can take the medication orally fall under this category. So the drug of choice in this category is amoxicillin. And the dosage is in case of adults it is 2 grams, in case of children it is 50 milligrams per kg body weight. So that's the doses of amoxicillin and it is given through oral route one hour before procedure. Okay. Now coming to the second category. Patients who are not allergic to penicillin, however, unable to take the medication orally are prescribed with the drug of choice ampicillin. So the doses of ampicillin is in case of adults it is again the same 2 grams in case of children it is 50 milligrams per kg body weight and the route of entry is parenteral that is either by intramuscular or by intravenous route and since it is parenteral and the delivery of drug is faster it can be prescribed 30 minutes before procedure okay. So that's in case of the second category, those who are unable to take the medication orally. And coming to third category, where the patients can take the medication orally, but they are allergic to penicillin. In this scenario, we can, do, we can prescribe the following drugs. One is clindamycin, or we can prescribe cephalexin or cephadroxyl so these are first generation cephalosporins or we can even prescribe azithromycin or clarithromycin or even erythromycin so now let's look into the dosages of these drugs if it is clindamycin, in case of adults, the dosage is 600 milligrams. In case of children, it is 20 milligrams per kg body weight. And the route of entry is oral. And it should be administered one hour before procedure. In case of cephalhexine or cephadroxyl, the adult doses is 2 grams and the child doses is 50 milligrams per kg body weight and the route of entry is oral one hour before the procedure and if it is azithromycin or clarithromycin in such a scenario the doses is in case of adults it is 500 milligrams in case of children it is 15 milligrams per kg body weight and the route of entry is oral one hour before procedure. So this comes under the third category where the patients are allergic to penicillin. So these drugs are an alternative to penicillin. And coming to the last category, those patients who are unable to take the medication orally and those who are allergic to penicillin, in such a scenario, we either go for clindamycin Or we can even go for first generation cephalosporin that is cefazolin. C E F A Z O L I N, cefazolin. If it's clindamycin, the adult dosage is 600 milligrams, the same as mentioned previously. And the child dosage is 20 milligrams per kg body weight. And the route of entry is IV. And it can be given. 30 minutes before procedure 
If it is cefazolin or first generation cephalosporin, the adult dose is 1 gram and the child dose is 25 milligrams per kg body weight. And the route of entry can be either IM or IV and should be given 30 minutes before procedure. So these are the drugs which we prescribe as part of antibiotic prophylaxis which are recommended by AHA or American Heart Association. If you observe the entire scenario, you can notice few common points. If it's either penicillin or cephalosporin, the doses of drug remains almost the same. See, in case of amox or ampicillin or in case of cephalosporin such as cephalhexin, the doses of the drugs is almost the same. In case of adults, it's 2 grams. In case of children, it's 50 milligrams per kg body weight. With an exception of cefazolin, wherein the doses is half. That is 1 gram in case of adults. And in children, it is 25 milligrams per kg body weight. And coming to clindamycin, whether it's given through oral route or through parenteral IV route, the doses remains the same. It is 600 milligrams in case of adults or 20 milligrams in case of children. Okay, that is pertaining to clindamycin. The only thing which we need to remember is azithromycin or clarithromycin, where the adult doses is 500 milligrams and the doses in children is 15 milligrams per kg body weight. So to summarize, we have four different categories. A general category where patient is not allergic to penicillin and he can take the medication orally. We have the second category where the patient is unable to take the medication orally, but he is not allergic to penicillin. And we have third category where the patient is allergic to penicillin, but can take medication orally. And we have a fourth category where the patient is unable to take the medication orally and he is allergic to penicillin. So depending upon the category, we have different drugs of choice. In the first category, the drug of choice is amoxicillin. In second category, it is ampicillin, which is administered by parenteral route. And to those patients who are allergic to penicillin, as an alternative, we have clindamycin or first generation cephalosporin such as cephalhexin or cefazolin or erythromycin or clarithromycin. So this third category is very much important because these are prescribed as an alternative to penicillin, especially in those patients who are allergic to penicillin. So, these are various drug regimens which are given by AHA in order to prevent bacterial endocarditis and please remember this regimen is not just for oral or dental procedures but they are relevant even for various respiratory as well as esophageal procedures. So this is in brief about antibiotic prophylaxis.